Hey guys, welcome back. So I promise I have more than just one shirt. I'm just filming several videos today, primarily because my hair is actually curled and done and not up into a yoga bun, which is normally how you'll see me downtown. So with that, I wanted to take a moment to explain one of the other assignments that you have for this class, and that is the assignment of the roars. Uh, you may notice there might be a little bit of a cat theme here. I've got two precious little cat babies at home. Um, but these assignments may be new to you, both the cats and the roars, primarily because I just developed them for this, this class. So there's already another video about cats, but what exactly are roars? If you take a look at with me at your syllabus, you'll be see, able to see a little bit more of a clear description. But I wanted to just take a moment to explain a little bit about what I'm expecting for a roar. So a roar is reading, outlining, asking and recommending. In a roar, you're going to complete a video response to at least three of the responses that are roar eligible. Now, if you take a look at the syllabus underneath the course schedule, you'll see roar option one or roar option two. You can pick any three of these throughout the semester and email them in or upload them to Canvas. And then I will post those on discussion boards so that everyone will be able to take a look at those roars. What the roars allow us to do is to have you be able to really get in depth with an assignment, focus on it, read it, outline it, ask questions about it, and make recommendations about what you think would be other material that help you understand the, the reading that you just did. Or it might be a recommendation about how this information might be useful to you in your discipline. So in your video, you're going to make sure that you do all of those four things. And I don't care what your video is. It could be something just like this with you speaking directly to the camera. It can be you talking over like your screen, doing like screen cast-o-matic or something like that. Um, you can do a commercial if you want. You can be super creative. It doesn't really matter to me as long as you do those four basic things. So this video is only going to be three to five minutes. You have three of them. You select any three that you want to do. So I'd be taking a look at my schedule and seeing which weeks might be easier for me to do those specific assignments. And you will both read it. You're going to review the material. You're going to outline. You're going to ask questions and you're going to recommend. So review is basically just a summary of the work. You're gonna outline and highlight the main points. You may also note that on the syllabus, I also said read interchangeably, read, review. Explain what the reading was about. What did it mean? The outline is going to highlight, highlight the main points of the reading. So what were the big chunks? Like what are the main things that, imagine you have a quiz in this class tomorrow and imagine your buddy comes in and says, hey, I didn't do the reading. What would you tell him in like the 30 seconds before the quiz? What are the most important things? Asking is basically asking questions of your peers, the instructor, or the author. So if I was doing a reading, say, of Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, I might ask how much of this is really based on the author's real life? Or I might ask my peers, how does this reading really relate to your discipline? Or are you more of a classic thinker or a romantic thinker in, in accordance with Persic? And in those three examples, I basically ask questions of my peers, ask questions of the instructor, and of the author. So asking is basically just asking questions of anyone. I don't care who your audience is. And then the last thing is recommending. Recommending who this reading is useful to or who the audience is or any additional readings that might be useful in order to understand. For example, in the Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Reading, um, you might uh, have a great website or some really great outside journal article that you found that really helped you understand the reading. So this would be an opportunity to share that. When you get done, again, you'll share that video with me and I will submit it uh, onto discussion board or another place that makes sense, um, maybe through an announcement, but definitely on discussion board, you'll be able to watch those and then be able to have some additional material to help you understand the reading each week as we all basically will take turns uh, discussing the readings. If there's ever any week where someone doesn't submit one at all, I'll probably just upload a video that does essentially all of the ROAR elements so that you will always have at some point during the course of the semester, each week we have a reading that has a ROAR option and a additional video or a couple, depending how many people submit each week, uh, to watch to help you understand the reading. All right, let me know if you have any questions, email, phone, we can do a video chat, whatever you want to do. I uh, hope all is going well for you guys and that this semester is going well.